Today, we're going to take you on a journey back in time to ancient Alexandria. In the 4th century AD, this city was the center of learning and culture in the Mediterranean world, and one of the biggest stars in Alexandria's intellectual firmament was Hypatia, a brilliant mathematician, philosopher, and astronomer. But her life came to a sudden and brutal end that shocked the world. Join us as we uncover the story of Hypatia's tragic fate. Welcome to Night Tales, the history channel that tells the story of the least explored parts of history. Hypatia was born in Alexandria in the year 355 AD. She was a daughter of Theon, a famous mathematician and astronomer, who himself had studied under the great mathematician Euclid. Growing up, Hypatia was exposed to her father's academic pursuits, and from an early age she showed a great interest and aptitude for learning. Under her father's tutelage, Hypatia developed a deep understanding of mathematics, astronomy, and philosophy. She was a brilliant thinker, who challenged the accepted beliefs of her time and developed her own unique perspective on the world. By the time she was in her early twenties, she had established herself as a respected scholar and teacher in Alexandria. Hypatia's lectures and teachings were famous throughout the city. Her school of philosophy, which combined elements of Platonism and Aristotelianism, attracted students from all over the Mediterranean world. She was known for her ability to explain complex ideas in simple terms, and her students were inspired by her wisdom and insight. As Hypatia's reputation grew, she became a sought-after advisor to the city's rulers. She was consulted on matters of science, politics, and religion, and her opinions were highly valued. She was particularly close to the prefect Orestes, who sought her counsel on a wide range of issues. Together, they worked to promote tolerance and understanding between the various factions in Alexandria, and they were seen as a beacon of hope in a city that was often torn apart by conflict. Hypatia's scholarship was not limited to her own school of philosophy. She was a prolific writer who produced works on mathematics, astronomy, and mechanics. Unfortunately, most of her writings have been lost to history, but we know from the accounts of her contemporaries that they were highly respected and influential. Despite her many achievements, Hypatia's life was not without its challenges. As a woman in a male-dominated field, she faced discrimination and prejudice from some of her peers, but she refused to be intimidated or discouraged by these obstacles. She continued to pursue her passions and to share her knowledge with anyone who was willing to listen. It was this determination and strength of character that made Hypatia such an important figure in the history of Alexandria and the wider world. The year 415 AD, however, would change the way she was remembered forever. Hypatia was in her mid-50s and had already achieved widespread fame for her scholarship and teaching. She was a leading figure in the Neoplatonic school of philosophy, and her lectures drew large crowds of students and admirers. She was also a close advisor to the city's rulers, including the prefect Orestes, who sought her counsel on matters of state. But Hypatia's influence and popularity made her enemies as well. The city of Alexandria was deeply divided between two factions, the Christians, who were led by the Bishop Cyril, and the Pagans, who still held on to the ancient beliefs of Egypt. Hypatia was seen as a symbol of the Pagan faction, and her association with Orestes only fueled the Christian resentment towards her. The situation came to a head in the spring of 415 AD. A group of Christian monks, known as the Parabolani, had been causing trouble in the city. They were zealots who believed that violence and martyrdom were the path to salvation. Orestes, who was a Christian himself, had been trying to keep them under control, but he also refused to bend to their demands. Cyril, the Bishop of Alexandria, was a powerful and influential figure in the city. He had a long-standing rivalry with Orestes, the Prefect of Alexandria, and he saw him as a threat to his authority. Cyril was known for his fiery temper and his willingness to use violence to achieve his goals. He had a large following of devoted Christians, known as the Parabolani, who were willing to do his bidding. Cyril saw Hypatia as a threat to his authority as well. She was a woman of great intelligence and influence, and her relationship with Orestes made her a potential rival to Cyril's own power. He began to spread rumors about her, claiming that she was a witch who was using her dark powers to control Orestes. He also accused her of being responsible for a recent outbreak of violence in the city. These rumors quickly spread throughout Alexandria, and they created a climate of fear and suspicion. 
Many people began to see Hypatia as a dangerous figure, and they believed that she needed to be stopped. The Parabolani, who were fiercely loyal to Cyril, were particularly incensed by the rumors, and they began to demand action against Hypatia. The situation soon became volatile. The Parabolani began to gather outside Hypatia's home, shouting insults and threats. Orestes, who'd been trying to defuse the situation, found himself caught between the angry mob and his own loyalty to Hypatia. He tried to reason with the Parabolani, but they were in no mood for compromise. They saw Hypatia as a threat to their faith and their way of life, and they were determined to take action against her. As the situation escalated, Hypatia found herself in grave danger. She knew that she was being targeted by the Parabolani, and she feared for her life, but she refused to be intimidated. She continued to speak out against the violence and the intolerance that she saw around her, even as her own safety was threatened. When the Parabolani and other Christian zealots descended upon her home, Hypatia likely knew that her life was in danger. However, she refused to back down or compromise her values. Despite the terror and chaos around her, Hypatia maintained her composure and dignity. Hypatia's brutal murder was not an isolated event, but rather a culmination of the tensions that had been brewing in Alexandria for years. As a prominent woman scholar, she had undoubtedly faced significant obstacles throughout her career. Nevertheless, Hypatia remained steadfast in her pursuit of knowledge and her commitment to sharing her wisdom with others. The brutality of Hypatia's death was a reflection of the deep-seated animosity and intolerance that characterized the political and religious climate in Alexandria at the time. Her attackers saw her as a threat to their power and authority, and they were willing to resort to extreme violence to silence her. It is important to note that Hypatia's legacy did not end with her tragic death. In fact, her teachings and ideas continued to inspire generations of scholars and thinkers long after her passing. Her work in mathematics, astronomy, and philosophy laid the groundwork for many important discoveries and breakthroughs in these fields. Moreover, Hypatia's life and death have become emblematic of the struggles faced by women throughout history who have sought to pursue their passions and share their knowledge with the world. Despite the obstacles and dangers that she faced, Hypatia remained true to herself and her calling until the very end. Her story is a testament to the enduring power of courage, conviction, and intellectual curiosity. Hypatia's brutal and senseless death shocked the people of Alexandria and the wider world. She was a woman of great intelligence and courage, who had dedicated her life to learning and teaching. Her death was a tragic reminder of the dangers of intolerance and fanaticism, and it remains a powerful symbol of the struggle for knowledge and enlightenment. The death of Hypatia was not just a local tragedy, but a global event that resonated with people of all walks of life. She had been a beloved and respected figure, not only in Alexandria, but throughout the Mediterranean world, renowned for her intellect, wisdom, and insight. News of her brutal murder quickly spread far and wide, sparking outrage and condemnation from scholars, philosophers, and other prominent figures. Many saw her death as a stark reminder of the fragility of intellectual freedom and the dangers of fanaticism and extremism. In the centuries since Hypatia's death, her story has become a potent symbol of resistance and defiance in the face of oppression and persecution. Hypatia's legacy as a symbol of reason and learning has inspired many individuals throughout history to stand up for their beliefs and pursue their passions, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. One of the most famous examples of this is the astronomer and mathematician Johannes Kepler. Kepler was a contemporary of Galileo and lived in a time when the Catholic Church was actively suppressing scientific inquiry. Despite this, Kepler was determined to pursue his research into the nature of the universe, and he drew inspiration from Hypatia's example of standing up for reason and knowledge in the face of oppression. Similarly, Ada Lovelace, the pioneering computer programmer and mathematician, was deeply influenced by Hypatia's story. Lovelace lived in an era when women were discouraged from pursuing careers in science and mathematics, yet she persevered and made important contributions to the field. In her work, she drew on Hypatia's legacy as a trailblazer for women in STEM fields. More recently, the story of Hypatia has inspired people from all walks of life to stand up for their beliefs and fight for social justice. From activists protesting against discrimination and inequality, to scientists advocating for evidence-based policy, the example of Hypatia's bravery and determination continues to inspire us to strive for a better world. The ongoing fascination with Hypatia's life and death speaks to the enduring power of her ideas and teachings. Despite the efforts of her attackers to silence her, Hypatia's legacy has lived on through the work of scholars and thinkers who have been inspired by her courage and dedication.
There are no surviving manuscripts of Hypatia's own writings. Most of what we know about her comes from the works of her students and contemporaries. However, there are some quotes that have been attributed to her, such as, Reserve your right to think, for even to think wrongly is better than not to think at all. All formal, dogmatic religions are fallacious and must never be accepted by self-respecting persons as final. Life is an unfoldment, and the further we travel, the more truth we can comprehend. To understand the things that are at our door is the best preparation for understanding those that lie beyond. Today, Hypatia remains a celebrated figure in the history of science, philosophy, and women's rights. Her story is a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit and the importance of intellectual curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the past. We hope you've learned something new about one of history's most remarkable women. If you found this video interesting, please make sure to like and subscribe, as we will make more videos like this soon on Night Tales.